Hi friends, here in this video, I'll give the velocity ratio for a geared pulley block. So, let's get started. Now first I'll explain the construction of this geared pulley block. The diagram which we have in this all these pulleys are having number of teeth as we can see here. T1 is the number of teeth on the effort wheel which is the biggest wheel which we are having here. Now T1 this bigger wheel is in contact with a smaller pinion as we see here also called as wheel B having number of teeth T2. This pinion is in mesh with a spur wheel called as spur wheel D having number of teeth T3. Now the spur wheel is in contact with a load wheel having number of teeth T4 and at the end of it there is a chain attached. So the functioning would be in such a way that when we apply the effort by pulling this chain the effort wheel rotates and when this effort wheel would be rotating this pinion would start to rotate in the same direction because they are in mesh and it would be rotating in a clockwise direction as we can see here. Once this pinion starts rotating in a clockwise direction, it is in mesh with another spur wheel having T3. So it would rotate in an anti-clockwise direction because these are external gears. So if one rotates clockwise, other rotates anti-clockwise and then the load drum is onto the same axis as this spur wheel D. So it also starts rotating anti-clockwise and in this way the load gets lifted and if we want to lower the load we have to instead of pulling the chain we have to just release the chain then the load would be lowered. So by applying a relatively small effort a considerably huge amount of load can be lifted with the help of a geared pulley block. Velocity ratio formula is given by T1 upon T2 into T3 by T4 where T1 is the number of teeth on effort wheel, T2 number of teeth on pinion B, T3 number of teeth on spur D as we can see here and T4 is the number of teeth on the load wheel. Now instead of having number of teeth on the effort wheel and load wheel, if we ha simply have a pulley on the effort wheel and a pulley on the load drum but T2 and T3 they would be in the form of pinion and gears. So if we have effort wheel diameter as capital D and if we have load wheel diameter as small d then the velocity ratio formula would be capital D upon small d into now T2 and T3 they are there so it would be T3 upon T2. So that's the velocity ratio formula to be used if instead of number of teeth on effort wheel and number of teeth on the load wheel we are having instead of gears simply if we have pulleys the velocity ratio formula is this which is capital D the diameter of effort wheel upon small d the diameter of load drum into T3 the number of teeth on the spur wheel upon T2 which is the number of teeth on this pinion wheel B. So in short that was the velocity ratio formula for a geared pulley block once we know this and we, if we know the mechanical advantage which is load upon effort, we can easily calculate the efficiency by using the following formula which is given by efficiency as mechanical advantage upon velocity ratio and if we want percentage efficiency, we have to multiply by 100. So in this way the efficiency gets calculated for a geared pulley block and it is a simple machine by applying relatively less effort huge amount of load can be lifted at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching